Tiger Woods sure had quite the entrance back into match play this week. 83 yards, should spin. But it was the kid from Denmark who took down the Tiger that caught everyone's attention. How about it? Whoa! Practice with me, beer guard, because something tells me you'll be seeing his name a lot more often. Lucas Beergard burst onto the PGA Tour scene at the WGC Dell Technologies match play, and people had a few problems getting his name right. No, no, we're, we're a math school. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Cooch can spell win, though, because Beer Guard was playing on the edge, literally, and fell, not there, thank goodness, but in the semifinals to Cooch. So it ended up being Georgia Tech versus UGA in the final match, where Coocher had to do the same thing against Kevin Kisner, and it didn't work out for him either. Though his Bulldogs weren't in the NCAA tournament, Kisner, this week's WGC champ, got in the March Madness mood earlier in the week with a slam dunk for Eagle. But how's this for an Eagle? In Savannah on the web.com tour, Kevin Doherty shirtless from the water. Maybe the most unusual shot of the year so far, Tiger going lefty with an upside down seven iron from the bushes. How good is that? Let me tell you, you might not see a better shot all week. Oh, yeah. Opening day was also last week. Cubs pitcher Cole Hamels got an ace just days before the MLB season officially began. Or should I say a colon one? What's going on, guys? This is JJ Watt. I'm out here at the Dell Match Play event, uh, following Justin Thomas around a little bit. A lot of crazy fans out here. Not sure if JT was as crazy about going face to face with the defensive end, though. All joking aside, social media can be pretty cool. It connected Broncos kicker Brandon McManus, who found this Denver fan's golf ball. Thanks to his followers, they found the ball's owner, Brian Hutt, and the two just became best friends. At the Corrales Punta Cana Resort and Club Championship, Graham McDowell got himself back into the winner's circle for the first time since 2015. The tour stays in Texas this week for the Valero Texas Open, so make sure to tune in to our PGA Tour live coverage, and I'll see you in the takeaway starting Thursday.